people switch over to a plant-based diet, many see their cholesterol levels come down into healthy range. A plant-based diet has even been found to be more effective than medical intervention. This large-scale study found that vegans had the lowest levels of total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol when compared to vegetarians, fish eaters and meat eaters. This study found that African-American vegans had a healthier balance of fats in the blood and had significantly lower cholesterol levels than lacto-ovo vegetarians. And in this study, Dr. Dean Ornish treated severe heart disease patients with lifestyle changes alone. The experimental group ate a low-fat, whole-grain plant-based diet, containing lots of fruits, vegetables and pulses. After just one year, 82% of patients on this lifestyle change regimen had regression of their heart disease with a 91% reduction in chest pain and reduced cholesterol levels, whereas the control group experienced a 165% increase in the frequency of chest pain and increased cholesterol levels. But what do you do if your cholesterol levels are not going down on a whole food, plant-based diet? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger as he explains more. By cutting out sources of animal fat and cholesterol, the average vegan, the average vegan cholesterol is about 141 total. So that makes the average vegan essentially a heart attack proof. But that's a bell curve. So half the people fall below and half the people fall above. And so if you're still high, even cutting out all the things that boost your cholesterol, the first thing I do is make sure you're not eating the rare sources of plant-saturated fats, which is coconut oil, cocoa butter, palm kernel oil, I found a lot of junky foods. So a common thing I'll find out, oh yeah, I'm vegan, oh yeah, I eat a big spoonful of coconut oil every day. You say, this is going to increase your LDL, your bad cholesterol is bad as lard would. That's the first thing, to make sure you're really not eating any foods that are increasing your cholesterol. A lot of junk foods have trans fats, hydrogenated oils. Okay, but if you do eat a whole food plant-based diet, cutting out the junk and still have high cholesterol, then the next step would be to eat foods that actively pull cholesterol from your system. And so that is the soluble fiber foods I talked about, nuts every day, soy every day. There's a whole list, the so-called portfolio diet by Dr. David Jenkins at the University of Toronto. He came up with this really remarkably powerfully cholesterol-lowering diet, started out not just a vegan diet, but added all these extra special foods in to pull cholesterol down even further. And that's what I would recommend before even considering going on drugs. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.